On April 12, 1980, at the easternmost point of Canada, it began the Marathon of Hope. Terry Fox had his leg amputated because of a malignant tumor. And after a year and a half of chemotherapy, he decided that he was gonna raise as much money as he could for cancer research. A marathon every single day. Terry ran 42 kilometers every day and started here in St. John's, Newfoundland and ended here, just outside of Thunder Bay, Ontario. Now his goal was to raise $1 for every Canadian in Canada. So last year I ran through some canola fields while we were combining. This year, I need to check some fence. So Quick Dick's gonna show you what it means to run around the block in Saskatchewan. Okay, I'm a kilometer in. Fence looks good so far. Hopefully I don't find anything broken because I didn't bring a stretcher or a hammer or pliers with me. Two kilometers in, I'm headed straight west into the wind right now, which is predominantly the direction Terry was headed. He didn't just run in the wind, he ran through rain, he ran through sleet, he ran through it all. What inspired Terry were the children he was trying so hard to help. I'm, I'm crying now because I, there's somebody here right now who is going through the same thing that I went through. The exact same thing, and he's only 10 years old. And I, I had the most inspirational uh, day of my life today. Terry ran 42 kilometers every day on a prosthetic that was made for walking. He would get up at 4 a.m. and run on a prosthetic leg made in 1980 that he knew was gonna cause him pain and make him bleed to try and raise money for cancer. I'm at five kilometers, I'm ready to die. He did 42 a day. I still have not found a hole in the fence where the cows are getting out. See you next spring, guys. Geese. Just met the first neighbor. They're like, what the hell are you doing, quick dick? I said, please donate. Found it. Oh, twisted wire. Okay, let's keep going. Kilometer nine. Found the deficient fence. Oh. 10K. 10K for you, Terry Fox. The cancer had spread. And now I've got cancer in my lungs. And uh, we got to go home and try and, try and do some more treatment. But uh, all I can say is uh, if there's any way I can get out there again and finish it, I will. 5,373 kilometers. Terry's cancer spread to his lungs and he had to stop just short of Thunder Bay. But it doesn't mean that his dream has to stop. So I put a link where you can donate to my run that I just did below this video. I also put a link to a YouTube video that you should watch if you want an inspiring story about Terry Fox. Uh, I can't do him justice. Uh, and the Terry Fox Foundation did a really great tribute to him. So check it out, it's down there too. Don't feel like you have to donate to the Terry Fox Foundation. If you want to find any hospital or fundraiser or health foundation that you want to donate to to help fight cancer, get at it, my friends. This is Quick Dick Big Dick signing off from Tufnell, Saskatchewan. I'm going to go find a water trough to dunk myself in and maybe a cold beer. Catch you next time.